meteorologist Scott Dorval with the On Your Side forecast. Winter weather advisory snow is flying in the Treasure Valley. Once again, another look from Albertson Stadium where the potato bowl has finished and probably just in time. Look at the snow covering the field. There's no more blue turf. It is now white turf as the snow is coating the ground and coating just about everything and big old flakes coming down with the temperatures dropping below freezing. So we'll be getting some icy slick roadways out there. Be careful if you are heading out on the roads tonight. In fact, let's take a look at this picture from the village at Meridian also showing snow falling. You can see the snowflakes falling here. Uh, festive down here. <laughs> a lot of folks ice skating right now. Temperature wise, we've hit 32 at the airport in Boise, but in some places it's dropping below that freezing mark at the ground. It is colder as well. Wind is light and so a pretty snow if you don't have to drive it. And if you do have to drive it in very difficult con conditions out there, we see the cloud cover coming into the bogus basin area during the day today. And there was a snow coming in this afternoon, upwards to five o'clock. And so the snow will start to pile on up. This is the Horseshoe Bend Hill. Now it's not a real quick uh, shutter on the camera here, so it looks a lot worse, but <laughs> the road is in here. It's hard to see here. Some headlights coming in. Snow is really coming down. And so Horseshoe Bend Hill just above the valley floor. It is sticking on all those roadways and it is just a horrible driving conditions. I was hoping to be able to see, show you this shot a little better, but the snow coming down. This is I-84 over the blues in Oregon. And it is all snow covered right now. At least we can see that the uh, interstate is open here. I haven't seen any closures through the blues right now. If you don't have to travel through the blues tonight, I certainly wouldn't. I would wait till tomorrow afternoon, especially, or I should say tomorrow after the sun comes up and things start to warm when the interstate, if the interstate is fine here tomorrow, it will be fine over the blues as we move through the day tomorrow because dry weather is coming in and it's not going to last. That's why I say tomorrow would be the day for that because by Sunday it starts to snow again in the blues. But call today, cloudy skies, a few snow showers here and here. The snow will pick on up and a few inches of snow are likely in the McCall area. As we move through the days, we're going to be seeing off and on storms coming in. Winter weather advisory for the first time for the Treasure Valley. All of the Treasure Valley except the lower Treasure Valley of Oregon. So Ontario, Vail, Nissa, you are not under a winter weather advisory, but over the river in Payette you are. Weezer's in the uh, winter weather advisory, but the upper Weezer River Valley is not. Bottom line is snow is going to fall everywhere. It's just on the edge of that uh, advisory criteria as we call it. Computer algorithms beginning to show much more blue showing up as the snow falls. It makes the temperatures drop and turns it all over to snow. The rain and snow mixture to snow. So there's the snow covering the valley. Amateur getting some good snow right now. I've been on Facebook Live. I'm going to check on in again here shortly do another Facebook Live. Love to hear the reports that you have from your area. This is the stream of moisture coming right into southwest Idaho in the Boise Mountains. Bogus Basin could get the most snow out of this storm system while all the ski areas will keep an eye on it. A fall of moisture continues to move in from the south around this high pressure that was blocking all the storms. It is pushed down to the south now. But what's going to happen is the snow comes in with over the cold air tonight. The cold air will sag to the south tomorrow and dry us out. The sun will come out tomorrow afternoon. So we'll have a cold front come through, a backdoor cold front, and then it will go back in the opposite direction, and that will bring as a warm front will bring more snow in for Sunday night. So that's Christmas Eve into Monday and then this will go back and forth and then the, the plume of moisture will continue to give shots of snow off and on as we go through the day. So here's what it shows in Boise. Now the forecast shows snow here through tomorrow up to midday. This chart shows this much snow by midday tomorrow right here about an inch. The blue here, what we call the um, the NAM model, the North American model shows about three inches and I think one to three inches is a good range for Boise with most of the snow Boise East where the heavier amounts and then you see these little upticks here to, to two and a half and four inches. That's an extra snow falling by late on Sunday. And so as you can see, we've got a good chance uh, for white conditions on Christmas morning out there. Twin Falls expecting a little bit of snow, maybe an inch in the Magic Valley with a little more possible on Sunday night as well out of the McCall area. Here's the story we're expecting. You see a wide range in here. I'm thinking three to four inches of snow is a pretty good bet for the McCall area as we go through the evening hours and the Sun Valley area. Uh, generally around three inches you can see here, but between one to three inches is likely on the mountain. There could be more than that. So everybody's seeing some snow. This chart is one of the charts that shows the least amount of snow, but it shows the areas less snow to the west. There will be snow here, but not as much. Most of the snow is going to fall in this region right in here and bogus basin. 
Eight inches of snow is a pretty good bet. You see it here by Sunday, and I think, uh, I don't know if they're going to open. It's tough to tell, but this is just what they need, especially since it wasn't necessarily expected. But the computer charts have added a lot more moisture, so some winter travel conditions coming on in. The travel forecast shows snow tonight, sunshine, and better travel tomorrow afternoon through the blues. Then Sunday, not good to drive through the blues because it will get real bad again. The road could close. And then on uh, Monday on Christmas Day, snow gets refined to the mountains. All right, let's take a look at our exclusive true view of tomorrow's weather today. There's the snow in the morning and then it will taper off and get much better in the afternoon as temperatures warm back into the 30s. One to four inches of snow in the Treasure Valley, one inch in the Western Valley, four inches east of Boise with temperatures in the 30s in the mountains, a good two to four inches in the Long Valley area, one to three inches in the Sun Valley area, probably closer to one to two. Extended forecast, more snow Christmas Eve. Okay, you guys wanted the snow, just be careful driving it. Are you going to be on Facebook tonight? I'm going to be on Facebook right after the newscast here for a little bit and then later tonight too. Okay, we'll look forward to that. Thanks, Scott. Ever heard a parent say to their kids,